This is an overview of the price list widget for Elementor by Limited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, you're going to want to make sure you have unlimited elements for Elementor installed on your WordPress website. If you don't have it installed yet, you can go into plugins, add new and search for unlimited elements. It's a free plugin you can find in the WordPress repository. So let's jump inside and get started. The widget we're going to talk about today is called price list. You can search for it in the search box over here, or you can navigate using the different categories. So I'm just going to click marketing widgets. You can hover over each one of these install or preview. Here is the price list one. I'm just going to click install and that installs it from the cloud. Next thing we can jump into our WordPress editor and start editing. So I'm going to search for price list. I'm going to use the one with the icon over here, UE, which is unlimited elements and drag that inside of my editor inside of my layout. Now we're going to go over all of the settings and see how you can customize this. So the first setting is pretty simple. It's for show image. Yes or no. So if I turn off the image, you can see the layout is fluid. It adapts automatically and I can turn back on the image direction. So we have two types of direction right now. It's on regular. If we set this to reverse, it will reverse the whole layout. Let's go back to regular inside of separator. This is actually the separator between the title over here and the price. So right now it's between the title and the price. You can decide for it to go under both of these, or you can hide it overall if you don't want it at all. Show item separator is a separator between the items. Right now it's uh, off. I'm just going to turn it to on. It doesn't add it yet. We need to do something inside of the style tab, but let's leave that on for now so we can see it later. The next part is pretty, pretty cool because over here we can actually create grid lists. What that means is our list can also be a grid. So if I'm going to change the columns over here to two, you can see how that adapts nicely. And now we have a grid with two columns, which is actually also a list of items. Of course, we have the gap option. Every time we have a grid, we need an option for a gap. So let's go back to one and a collapse image on mobile. This means the image will be on top of the title when on mobile price position. This is our price. And sometimes in your layout, you're going to want to move that from the uh, actually from being in a, the same line with the title. And you can just make it in a separate column. So in a row, and now you can see how that will move to be in a separate column, like our images in a separate column. So you can achieve a lot of nice styling options with that. Let's go for the basics over here in items. It's the regular Elementor repeater. So we can duplicate items. We can delete items, we can add new items, and we can edit existing items. So over here in each item, we have an option for title, price, text, image, a link if you want this to be linkable. And of course, we have an option also for a badge, which is really, really awesome. So to turn on the badge, all you need to do is just put in some text over here. So if I have a new item in the list, I'm just going to write over here new. And you can see that made a really nice badge where you can highlight separate different kind of products or items inside of your list. So let's add some different images, maybe from my library over here. Let's go for image one, image two. And let's do the last one, which is image three. We got everything set up. Now I'm not going to change all the contents. 
but you get the point so I could change the title the text the prices I'm gonna leave that alone right now and let's jump into style over here in style what we're going to do is start customizing this the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure my image doesn't get cut off so what I'm gonna do is jump into image and over here we have an option to change the image cover mode so from cover I'm gonna change it to contain contain and now it spaces the image inside of course we can change the width to the correct width that we want and align our image if we want to align differently everything seems to be looking great right now let's go to the text align and for the text line I'm going to align it to the middle just so it vertically aligns over here nicely and of course you have padding margin border if you need if you have a background you can add some radius you can change uh, the text align is what we just changed backgrounds you can do gradient backgrounds or a solid background shadow you can give your items a shadow let's just give it a shadow just on hover so you can just look how that highlights it for readers to be easier to read now I think we went over everything inside of image image spacing is just to space the image from the content itself and separator so the separator is the line over here you can play around with uh, all the styling options that you have over here we have some vertical and horizontal uh, uh, spacing so the horizontal spacing is actually between the title and the price so if i put that in to be bigger you can see there's a bigger space over here title all the regular stuff typography color shadow nothing special price we have an option also to give a background to the price let's actually take off the color over here by clearing it i think that's a cleaner look right now maybe change the typography make our price a little bit bigger let's say 21 maybe make it bolder just to play around with the settings and until you get something that you really like that really suits your website design let's make our titles a little bit bigger just to give them some more contrast from the text itself and what uh, i didn't show yet is the item separator which is what uh, we turned on before inside of content and if we change this to solid you can see that it adds a nice line between the items themselves so you can decide if you like this line better or this one or you want to move this one under the title really it's really flexible inside of the badge over here we have all the different options to customize our badge make the corners rounded space it out different background color whatever you need just to make your design exactly the way that you want to finish this up i'm just going to the section settings and in the width i'm just going to make this a little bit smaller just so the layout looks nicer and i think i'm about done i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and i'll see you in the next video